the most important meal of the day right here. Hey everybody, Mike Les, Farmhand Mike here, just west of Arcanum, Ohio. It is Sunday morning, October 6th, and we are ready for another day in the field. Yesterday's video, you see uh, a lot of different things happen. Uh, started out doing tillage, went to some soybean harvest, uh, had some trouble with the header. Header's getting fixed, and we put the corn head on. We shelled some corn about 30 acres last night. Finished around nine o'clock, uh, got everything full, got the dryer going this morning. And right now, I think I'm gonna go plant wheat, but uh, we need to unload this corn. And I'm gonna talk about this J&M grain cart a little bit. So Mike, the local J&M rep, brought this, or set this up for us to demo this cart. And uh, anyways, we got to use it a little bit. We really like it. Uh, good chance it'll stay here at this farm. But as of right now, it's a demo. So we kind of got this cart specced how we would want it if we buy it. So I know some people are talking, hey, you got that grain cart just like Minnesota Millennial Farmer, only he has tracks. Well, they would have put tracks on this if that's what we wanted. But like I said, this was specced the way we wanted if we're gonna buy it. So we got the tires on it here. And we did not need a 1400 bushel cart. Uh, this 1100 is going to be plenty for this operation here. So let's just take a look around it, check it out. So this has got the uh, uh, 1050 50R 32 tires on it, which is plenty of tire for here. Uh, a couple other things. Let's just start here. Uh, big unloading auger, so that's going to be pretty nice. Unload faster. Um, I did have some people question this ladder when I put these pictures on Instagram, how you're supposed to climb this. Well, this actually folds in for when you're in the field so you don't catch it on anything. And you can just grab this here. And there you go. One thing I like, the unloading auger is bigger than the 750 over there. And uh, we got a lot more movement here up on the cap. So uh, that'll be nice for in the trucks and so forth, filling them. And one thing I really like here is this. Talked about this in yesterday's video a little bit, the J&M iFarm Plus. So this has the scales on it. So got a weigh bar up front here. And then you also got some weigh bars back here by the axle. So instead of having an actual scale head here or putting it in the tractor, uh, J&M iFarm is an app you can put on your phone, which I just put it on my iPhone. And uh, I can actually read what's going on here at the grain cart as far as uh, how much is in the cart. You can unload it. You can name your fields and so forth. So if you want to keep track of a field, what it's yielded total, this and that, you can do all that right here. I don't claim to be an expert on it yet. I still got a lot to learn, but the little bit I played with it looks like it's pretty slick. Another thing here, just point out, uh, if you looked in yesterday's video, when the auger was in transport, it was folded up and clear down here. So when it's down here, that keeps the auger within the uh, limits of the tire there, so you're not wider than that tire over there. But when you're in the field, that right there, that has two different positions. So one is field position, one is storage. So when that's flipped down, once the auger's up and we're in the field, when we fold the auger back, it'll just set and rest on there instead of coming clear back down to here. So that'll be great for in the field. Um, it does stick out a little bit past the tank there, but in the field, that's not really gonna be an issue. So anyways, that's that. And of course, uh, three hydraulic remotes on this, as you can see here. So one for the auger fold, one for the gate open and close, and one for the tip up there. get uh, they had one of these at the farm Ohio Farm Science Review and it had the electric tarp on it uh, or automatic whatever you want to call it but uh, anyways on the grain cart we didn't really feel we needed that so the manual uh, tarp fold will be plenty and we'll just take a look under here also this is a special edition the patriotic farmer edition so with that i think it's pretty much just the decals you get the flag stripe decals here which are pretty sharp and of course you can get these in several different colors green red black you can probably get yellow and blue as well i would imagine but anyways just a beautiful cart here and supposed to have a tractor coming a new tractor coming to put on this end of this week so stay tuned for that it's going to look pretty sharp
Whoops, that's going to leave a mark. Might as well climb the ladder and take a peek up inside here, even though this thing is about full. Oh, I guess I could have fit a lot more in here last night. All right, we'll fold the ladder back in because that left out could be an accident waiting to happen. Just a couple flyover shots here while everything's lined up. All the corn you see here in the carts and the combines from last night. So last night when I was running the combine, the corn varied anywhere from, I uh, saw 17% moisture on the monitor up to as high as 26. There's some green spots in this field. Uh, yields were decent. There was a couple spots uh, where I did see the yield monitor well over the 200 mark but there was a couple spots that got drowned out and there was really next to nothing there so i don't know what the average will be this year but uh, like i said some areas of the field a lot of areas of the field were pretty good don't know if i've ever mentioned this before but that is one good looking grain cart people watch these videos from all over the united states uh, canada and all over the world for that matter j and m grain carts are built in fort recovery ohio which is only about 35 miles from this field and farm also has a red J&M grain cart, which is an 875, and if you go back on some of last year's videos, you'll see that in some of my harvest vlogs.
I'm stacking coal. Remember earlier in the video when I said I was going to plant wheat today? Well, I think it's raining more than what they called for, so I don't think I'm going to plan, plant wheat today. So this may be the end of the video. Um, who knows? The sun might come out. It's not a lot of rain yet, so stay tuned. Uh, this may be the end. It may not. So since it was raining, I went home. My wife made a nice lunch. Had uh, cube steaks, mashed potatoes, and gravy in corn in uh, my son and daughter-in-law come over of course my daughter and her boyfriend were there and uh, anyways it quit raining so i come back to the field here where i was going to drill the wheat it was probably borderline you could have drilled uh should you shouldn't you but anyways this tree needed moved and i figured till we hauled the skid loader down here to do it and everything it'd be just as fast to bring my chainsaw down here and just move it by hand so you're going to see this for the next couple minutes uh me moving some timber and cutting some wood with the chainsaw and in case you're wondering, I brought my steel chainsaw down here. I actually have three chainsaws. I have a McCullough, I have a Husqvarna, and a steel, and I like them all. How fast can a woodchuck chuck wood if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I'll bet everybody watching this said he's going to pinch his chainsaw in there. But uh, actually, if you look back there, when this tree fell, it fell on another log. So you can see it's supported right there.
And remember last fall when I bought that Heston Stack Can 10? Well, I actually found the stack mover through a friend here. A uh, guy was cleaning out a barn, had the old Heston 10 stack mover, and the top uh, grapple or clamp here, whatever you want to call it, uh, was cracked. So I got a piece of strip steel and laid down here and just doing a little welding on that. So get this uh, welded up and painted. And uh, anyways, make sure you cover your eyes here. I don't want anyone getting welder's flash. Be careful. And that is going to do it for Sunday, October 6, 2019. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned. I still got a lot of good stuff coming to the channel.